स्क्वायर ऑफ नेवर एंडिंग सेलिब्रेशन पी एस एन अवन ए स्ट्रॉल टू द एटर्नल सिटी ऑफ रॉम विल मेक यू ऑफ स्ट्रक विद सो मेनी ब्रेथ टेकिंग व्यूज एंड यू शुड नेवर मिस द आर्किटेक्चरल एक्सलेंस ऑफ पी एस एन अवन विच इज ऑलमोस्ट टू किलोमीटर ईस्ट ऑफ वटिकन सिटी इट्स एन एलिप्टिकल पब्लिक ओपन स्पेस ऑन द साइट ऑफ एंशियन स्टेडियम ऑफ डोमिशन बिल्ट इन एडी एटी सिक्स Nothing except the outline of the Domitian Stadium is preserved in the shape of Piazza Navona and the square is now embellished with beautiful renaissance and baroque buildings designed by the most famous architects of the 16th and 17th centuries. The most imposing of all the three fountains is the one at the center, Fontana dei Fiumi or the Fountain of Four Rivers. designed by Gian Lorenzo Bernini in the year 1651 by the order of Pope Innocent X the pope's family palace the palazzo of pamfili and the church of saint agnes of agone are visible in the backdrop and both these buildings face on to the piazza navona the fountain of four rivers has a giant granite obelisk which is a symbol of papal power It is raised upon the travertine rocks that is on a circular basin. The obelisk is a single piece Egyptian granite. On the top of it there is a statue of Dow with green leaves in its beak that symbolizes peace as well as holy spirit. The way it floats in the thin air with minimal support makes the viewers wonder how this obelisk possibly be mounted and supported over the rock. It is said that the people at that time were very much worried about the fountain stability as the gigantic obelisk rises so high into the sky with seemingly minimal support. On the corners of the rock there are four giant masculine nudes. These heroic figures are the personifications of major rivers of the continents representing four corners of the world. The water of these important rivers feeds the ocean which is represented by the large pool the river statues have specific symbols and features associated with them to represent its significance each river is detailed by important flowers plants and animals specific to that region a total of 7 animals are seen they include a horse serpent dolphin crocodile lion sea monster and a dragon the river danube of europe is represented with a horse next to it danube river is portrayed in such a way that it reaches to touch the symbolic representation of pop's identity and values called pop's personal coat of arms it is because this river is the largest river close to rome the river ganges of asia is depicted with a long oar and a dragon The holy river Ganges is carved out as a formal and dignified bearded figure with an ornamental crown on his head. He is leaning to his right side with his head straight. He holds a long oar in his hand indicating its navigability. Of all the statues, the representation of river Ganges seems to be the most aristocratic and prominent. Africa's Nile River is detailed with a lion and a palm tree. The head of the Nile statue is partially covered with a loose piece of veil because the source of the river was not known at that time. The palm tree looks like the wind is blowing on it and the tail end of the lion is seen from the other side of the fountain. The river Rio de la Plata represents America and it has a crocodile besides it. Also the statue is sitting on a pile of coins symbolizing its wealth and riches. The statue looks scared by a snake sculpture above it indicating the wealthy people's fear of losing their money. However, a story of artistic rivalry is also heard associated with the sculpture of Rio de la Plata raising his hands in fear. Originally, the work of the fountain was assigned to Borromini and the Pope did not want Bernini to be involved in it due to various political reasons. Bernini had a huge fan base at that time in Rome and Pope's relative Donna Olimpia was one among them. Bernini sent a silver model of the fountain to her and the Pope Innocent X happened to see it and was so struck by the model that he changed his mind and abandoned Borromini's design. Later he commissioned the work to Bernini. 
A Roman legend explains that artistic rivalry existed between artists Bernini and Borromini who designed the facade of St. Agnes Church. Because of this enmity and competition between the artists, Bernini designed the statue of River Nile and the River Plata with their arms raised in a defensive gesture, as if they are protecting themselves from the facade, which is about to collapse. However, the facade was built many years after the fountain. The fountain of Moore in the southern end of Piazza was built in 16th century. Later, in 1653, it was renovated by Bernini, who designed the central figure of the Moor wrestling with a dolphin. This fountain of Neptune is in the northern end and it was moved to Piazza Navona by the end of 16th century. It took many years to complete the work and for a long time the fountain remained without sculptures. The statue of Neptune with his trident fighting with a large octopus is depicted at the center. Other statues include mermaids, seahorses and cupids playing with dolphins. Classic examples of Baroque and Renaissance architecture in Piazza Navona are the grand buildings of Palazzo Pamphili and the Church of St. Agnes. Designed by Borromini and Carlo Rinaldi, the church has a beautiful convex facade and a marvelous dome with twin bell towers on either side. Though this church was a private chapel in the Pamphili Palace for the Pope Innocent X, now it is open for the public. Various scenes from the life of St. Agnes are illustrated inside the church. The church is only as wide as the dome, however, it contains so many chapels and great details inside. You will be amazed by the architectural works inside the church. A few meters away from Piazza Navona is the Piazza of Pasquino. There you can see the most famous and the first of many talking statues in Rome. The Pasquino is a 3rd century BC sculpture excavated from the place where it stands now and for centuries it stood as the voice of the people and it still continues. It got its name from the tradition of attaching anonymous criticisms to its base. Mostly, these satirical messages are against the politicians and the rulers. And now comes the best part, the nightlife. The piazza becomes most lively and stunningly colorful in the night. A night in Piazza Navona would be like a night that you wish lasted forever. The food, the music, the art, the fashion, the wine, you would love it.